Joining me now on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange is Kathy Ireland, CEO of Kathy Ireland Worldwide. Great to have you here. Well, thank you. You've Wonderful built to be here. a massive consumer business. I guess it doesn't hurt that the economy is growing over 4%. We're very grateful that the economy is so strong. Absolutely. What are you seeing in terms of the state of the consumer right now? Uh, consumer confidence is going up. We're seeing luxury on an increase. I mean, people are having confidence, and diamonds are, are a wonderful purchase, and uh, we're doing. We're, we're very pleased with how we're doing. You know, many analysts say that the higher income consumers got more of the benefit from those tax cuts. I guess that's also helping the luxury retail sector as well. Right. Well, we're we're hearing um, we're hearing across the board that whatever the savings that people are getting, whatever economic bracket they're in, those savings are making a difference. So even at our opening price points, I mean, we're seeing uh, growth. Um, Walmart, Amazon, uh, brick and mortar, and that's encouraging. And our strategy for this increased growth, it's not to raise prices, but it's to increase sales. Our customer, whether we're talking about an opening price point item, whether it's uh, a diamond for $2,000, or if it's one of our statement pieces for a million dollars, fantasy pieces, we're seeing that confidence grow, and that's exciting. You mentioned a few retailers that are thriving in this environment, Amazon, Walmart, but of course not all retailers are right. succeeding in this environment. Of course, Kmart, Sears, you have some sure. products in Kmart. Why do you think they're struggling? You know, the, the world is changing so rapidly, so quickly. Of course, online has an impact. And so working with our retail partners for strategies that will protect them is something that we do, and uh, something we do across the board. We began with a real grassroots foundation, working with retailers, one retailer at a time, building those relationships. And many of these are family-owned businesses, been around for generations. So really working with them to move into the 21st century and finding ways, profit sharing with online sales is a strategy that we use as well. You also have an incredible story, as you said, starting with the socks business, growing your overall business into a billion dollar company. What is your advice for young entrepreneurs out there? For young entre entrepreneurs, I would say ask a lot of questions. Make sure you get your questions answered. Don't be afraid of rejection. No means now we're talking. Come back, put it in your calendar, keep coming back. Believe in what you're doing, have a passion for it and really know why you're doing what you're doing. You gotta have conviction for it because there will be days that will be difficult and hard. Be prepared to work around the clock, pour your heart and soul into it, and when you love what you do, it doesn't feel like work. Kathy Ireland, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, thanks very much.